So I'm gonna show you how to do a packing tape photo transfer. So it is possible to put your printed image in, but I also want you to see how you can create just like a line outline and also do collages as well with uh, packing tape. You will need your packing tape and some water as well as your images, your printouts. Um, it is better to use really thin kind of cheap magazines versus some of these kind of thicker um, catalogs that I have. So if you can kind of feel the difference on some papers, you're gonna want some of the thinner paper. It'll be easier to make this work. Um, so I'm working on something here and I wanted to cut out and use this separate like baby and I don't like how his legs are cut off. So maybe I wanna put something on and I wanted to put his name in there. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of this. So first I'm gonna show you guys just the basic method, the basic concept. Uh, so I have some text here. I would recommend trimming this down uh, pretty close onto your uh, lines, whatever it is that you're working on. And then I'm going to need some packing tape. And I'm gonna put a piece down, and it, it's not gonna be wide enough to cover the whole thing, so I'm just gonna put a piece down here. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna need more packing tape, and this time I need to overlap. Um, if I put them side by side or leave a little gap, it's not gonna work. So I need to let the packing tape overlap the last piece a little bit. And unfortunately, I have one tiny little piece for up here at the top. I'll overlap and put another one down. And then you want to use the like the back of your nails and really bond these two things together, the packing tape onto the text. So I'm gonna take a little bit and really smush that together. You could also possibly use like your scissors or something. Okay, and then I could trim around my packing tape some. Be careful kind of removing that up from, I would not want to work on another sheet of paper. I'm working here on the flat table. And I'm gonna trim just a little bit outside, leave some of just the sticky all the way around. And I'll clean out my scissors here. And now the next step, once I've really made sure that this is going to be bonded in, is to just soak this in water. So I'm going to leave this soaking here. And while that's soaking, I'm going to show you guys now doing a little bit more of a collage with this. So I'm going to trim up on my uh, image a little bit more. Okay, and you can see that in cutting that, I accidentally trimmed the tail off, but that's okay, because I'm going to end up taping this back on, not a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna look at some of my other papers and where I may want to uh, collage them in. Anything that's really light or white isn't really gonna show up. Um, and I'm just kind of playing around with the placement of this stuff. I'm gonna cut the front legs off there, kind of decided on what I was gonna do, moving those around. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I need to cover this in rows of packing tape. I'm going to now go back to my text piece here and kind of try to cram water over this one. And you can see I have multiple layers. This isn't going to be attached. That's fine. That's how this process is going to go. And I'm going to let this one soak for a little bit and then get back to this other one. So now the paper is soaking wet. Here's the front of my work. And I'm just gonna take the pads of my finger and begin rubbing this back and forth. And you're going to remove the paper. Be careful not to use your fingernails here because you could end up kind of scratching too much off. I'm just rolling this paper up, making quite a mess, so I'll have to clean this up later. But you can see that what is left on this packing tape is that text from the printer. So eventually you can't really see any paper anymore. If anything kind of clouds back up again, you'll need to go back over and try to take a little bit more off. Uh, you could pat this dry with a paper towel, but it's gonna eventually get sticky again and you don't really want to lift out that paper towel paper. So I could, the, the top of my tape where it is not sticky, you could pat that dry and just kind of let this slowly start to air dry. And now with this other one, you can see it's uh, kind of light, but you can see some of that 
color in there. It leaves a little bit of that. When you put that down onto white paper, um, you can see that anywhere that was white stays white, and then all that color around there, really just the back and down here, um, gets picked up by the packing tape, and all that white paper goes away. You could then layer that onto other sheets of paper, layer that onto solids, and you can see a really cool um, layered effect. You can see that I added the collage over some areas here. If it's on top of really dark colors, you're not gonna be able to see something, but on top of the lighter colors, you can just see right through. I also included some here. Not all the white paper was removed, so you can see it on the dark. And as your backer paper gets really dark, it's a little bit harder to see, but on top of this light, um, you don't have that white paper anymore. You just have this kind of layer of text that you'd be able to see over other things.